Hello everybody, welcome to SA Boxing Talk. We're talking about Lennox Lewis and Anthony Joshua. Now, of course, Lennox Lewis has been very vocal recently and you know, within the within the last year and you know, coming into this year, he's sort of made himself more of a, a figure. You know, he wants to be known, and he wants to have his say, and of course he needs his say, you know. When it comes to heavyweight boxing, who do you who do you want to listen to, you know? Like the guys like Lennox Lewis know what they're talking about. Obviously, he's have had an ongoing like sort of a row with Eddie Hearns uh, as to how Eddie Hearns has actually managed Anthony Joshua's career. Now, personally, I don't have a problem with the way that Hearns has managed Joshua's career. I think he's made Joshua into a phenomenal champion. In fact, I think Eddie Hearns probably made Joshua into the number one heavyweights in the world where you got guys like Fury and Wilder fighting each other, but you still know that in the back of your minds that Anthony Joshua is the number one. And of course, Lewis feels that you know, he needs to be the undisputed champion. And of course, if he's to do that, he needs to fight the likes of Tyson Fury, which would be a big British fight. And of course, the likes of Deontay Wilder. Now, the only complaints and the only thing that has come in the way of Hearns has been the negotiations. So negotiations haven't gone smoothly with either Wilder or Fury. I think they're demanding too much money. I think you got to accept the fact that uh, Anthony Joshua is a team. Uh, it's just the the matter of how much Hearns is expecting to pay Joshua as opposed to the other two. Now, of course, um, if it happened last year, you would probably say the split's going to be bigger for, uh, a lot bigger for Joshua, I should say. But coming into this year, you cannot you cannot expect, especially after the Fury Wilder fight, you cannot expect either guy to be asking for less than 40%. You know, a 60-40 split is a, is, is a realistic thing. I think Wilder's a bit delusional when he's asking for 50-50. If I'm honest, his profile has risen, but it has not got to that level where he can start demanding. Because obviously Joshua, go look at his followers. He's a much bigger name. You know, everyone knows Anthony Joshua. You know, obviously the British boxing scene is massive at the moment, but still. So let's get back to Lennox Lewis. You know, he's he, he had a... You know, he had a rant recently where he discussed the matchroom boss, and obviously that's Eddie Hearns, and, uh, you know, Hearns doesn't take too kindly to a lot of negativity and criticism, uh, particularly from his own. So, and when I say his own, I mean his local British uh, audience. So, Lennox came out and criticized the way Joshua has been handled, and, you know, Lennox, you know, he has a point. I get his point. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll always... I'll always say the best need to fight the best, but there obviously needs to be a financial reward for the guys as well. I'm also about the business side of it. You know, you can't just walk into a fight saying Deontay Wilder 50-50. You know, if both guys got 20, let's just say it's a 40 million split, so 2020, how, what has Wilder done to, to deserve it? You know, he's beaten up a bunch of palookas his whole career. He's managed to spark a few top heavyweights, and now all of a sudden he deserves it? Absolutely not. You know, uh, whereas Anthony Joshua has beaten the guys, and you look at the names and you can, and, 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 and you can tell who the number one is, you know, and uh, having obviously the biggest name on his resume in the form of Vladimir Klitschko, you know, while they need that name on his list, you know, having a draw with Fury, where, where that fight still to, to, to this day has debates all written all over it, but yeah, you know, I, I just, I like what, Luke, uh, what Lennox is saying, but to a certain degree, I want the, everyone wants these fights to happen, but of course Lennox took it to it at another level, he went on a bit of a rant and, uh, yeah, it's good for boxing. Keeps people talking all the time. Keeps me talking to you right now about what he's doing. And uh, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, that's a fight that we all want to see. So if Hearns is listening, which he probably isn't, but if he ever does, you know, if to be the man, you got to beat the man. You know, and at the end of the day, the lineal champion of the world is Anthony Joshua. So it's up to Fury or Wilder to take a, l a lesser paycheck. And come up and take the fight. And when I say a lesser paycheck, I'm not talking about they're going to take 2 million and Anthony Joshua takes 38. I'm talking about a genuine 60 40 split or a 70 30 split. You know, take that still, it's still big money compared to what the two of them made in their last fight. So let's get off our high horses and let's make this fight happen. Eddie Hearns, Lennox Lewis, you know, they're having a bit of a feud, doesn't matter. Let's get this fight done. It's time. Thank you for listening, everyone. I right, cheers.